Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel, putting the fun back into amateur radio. Now I've got the camera between me and the box. But uh, I thought I'd do an unboxing. I've just, uh, because I'm sort of fumbling around around the camera here, I've just cut the seal off at the bottom, but I haven't actually opened the box properly as yet. I don't know why unboxing videos are uh, popular, but people seem to like them and find them interesting. So anyway, here we go. Here is my latest box I've received from the United States. We'll get that out of the way. And what does it contain? I, I, can, I can tell from here that you can barely contain your excitement. Well, what it contains is a couple of slugs. Let's get the box out of the way. Excuse me. So I've been playing around with my valve amplifier recently, and I thought I'd. Uh, I was looking at the alcohol power on the Revex power meter, which is, you know, a hobby power meter. It's not an industry standard thing. So I thought I'd get uh, a couple of uh, a couple of slugs for a Bird um, 43 through line meter, because we use those at work, and I have access to those uh, have access to those meters. Now. Um, I didn't buy the bird ones because they're twice as expensive as the coaxial dynamics ones. How do we open this? Like that, probably. So, the. Sorry, I'm on, I'm on one foot leaning around the camera here, that's why I'm shaking. I haven't had a, an overly excessive caffeine hit. Or worse. Now, these apparently are 100% compatible. Uh, with the bird um, through line 43 meter. So it's a coaxial dynamic slug. As I say, they're about half the price of the bird ones, and I'm led to believe they do the same thing. So this one here, 2 to 30 megs, 1000 watts. And because I may one day finish my large amplifier, and we may one day get a bit more power allocated to us. Uh, or I may one day be living somewhere where I can use a bit more power. I mean I could move to, uh, where is it, Somalia, that uh, allows 3000 watts. Mine, mine would be the, uh, the mud hut with the steam coming off it, I would think. There we go, and that one there is 2 to 30 megs. 2,500 watts. So, now I've got the slugs. All I need is a bird uh, through line, 43, and something that will generate a bit of power. Fortunately, I have a uh, bird 43 that I prepared earlier. I'll just put the slug in it. There we go, and I need a handy amplifier capable of chucking out a few watts. Now, um, under here, under this board, is my ancient Yesu FLDX2000, which as you can see is uh, it's on, it's ready to go, and I have a I have the usual uh, FT450 over there driving it through the MFJ945E and I have here the Revex power meter. So I'll just do a very quick comparison. So that's with the Revex. This is going to move around a bit I'm afraid because I've got, a, I've got no choice but to hold the camera at this point. Hang on. And I've got to reach over and get the mic. Okay, so, where are we? So that's showing 500 watts. That's showing 500 watts on the uh, Revex meter. So, what does it show on the bird with my shiny new 1000 watt slug? Hmm. Let's find out. I'm afraid you're going to have to look at the whiteboard for about a minute while I just uh, change the connections. 
talk amongst yourselves and dip into that huge bag of popcorn if you've got one handy. Uh, it, the, uh, the amplifier is connected to a dummy load at this point, of course, not the antenna. Just thought I'd better point that out in case uh, the ACMA <coughs> thinking of earning a bit of overtime. generated a bit of noise but I can just flick the kite shield switch to show you that it's connected to the dummy load. That's connected to the antenna. That's connected to the dummy load. There we go. Right, so let's see. Let's see what, uh, there we go, 2 to 30 megs, 1,000 watts. So let's see what it indicates on the Bird 43. Now I was, uh, I was talking to uh, one of the usual suspects yesterday. Oh, I'd say that's, um, what if it's a 1,000 watt slug, so the bottom scale is 1,000 watts. Don't want to key down for too long with this um, television uh, line output valve uh, amplifier. I think they say key down maximum is three seconds on it. Um, of course the SSB voice peaks are nowhere near that long. Um, <clears throat> so, between the, uh, the 40 and 60 on the bottom range, if you look up to the scale, there's just a little thing hanging down about halfway along, a little tiny, little tiny indication there. There. That's going to, that right on my fingernail there is going to be 500 watts. So it looks like the Revex is showing pretty close to uh, what an industry standard meter shows. Again, I'm on one knee, got the mic in one hand, the camera in the other, so apologies for the shaking around. Look at that. 500 watts. So the Revex and the Bird through line, the Bird 43, are telling me the same thing. So that's probably uh, a good indication good indication that uh, what's coming out of it is uh, is 500 watts. Um, oh yeah, I started to say that uh, I was talking to VK6NJW, James, yesterday on 80 metres, and James said um, the Revex meter looks quite nice and it's got lots of writing on it and things like that, but the Bird 43 is just a bland, it's just a bland, uh, a bland looking unit. And yeah, it is. It's uh, and the reason for that is, it's a, it's a very robust unit, and the reason for that is that the Bird 43 is designed for um, industrial commercial use. So it's taken around by the, uh, uh, the radio techs on a regular basis. It, all that goes in a little pelican box with the uh, uh, different slugs for testing different things, for testing links and repeaters and things. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, in and out of a box all day, it's in and out of a car all day, it's taken up onto hills and, and, and radio sites and it, uh, they do take, uh, take a fair beating, these meters. That's why they're built as they are, they're built to take a beating. The, uh, the Bird 43 and uh, there you go, you can put, your, put some different slugs in there if you want. That's just for transportation of course, a little locking, little locking device on there just holds them in position. Um, tend not to bother uh, doing that because as I say this uh, I've, I've just taken this out of a pelican case that's got uh, I don't know probably three or four slugs uh, different uh, different slugs in it so um, uh, so I don't tend to bother with uh, putting the slug on the side of the thing because whenever I carry this thing around it's in the little pelican box with uh, with everything in it right so uh, so there we go there's my shiny new slugs all the way from the United States. And there's a comparison between a, uh, an industry standard uh, power meter and a hobby power meter. And uh, I think the, um, although I haven't been through a range of different frequencies and different power levels, 
to do a real comparison. At first glance, I would say this Revex, Revex, however you pronounce that, is doing a rather splendid job. Okay, well, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.